So, you want to connect some GargWyX? Well, let's get started. First things first, we want to fly over to the second camp in the Shrine Ruins. If you do not have the camp unlocked, you want to navigate to, towards Area 10 and from there climb over the mountains. But while you're at it, you might as well unlock the camp. Just go there and then you'll get a quest in the village. And then here we do some mountain climbing to get over to that water area. Of course, there's Gargwa in different places. They only appear in the Shrine Ruins, but on different places. Uh, as well, but there we can already see our target. These are the guys you want to look out for. So our objective is to spook them so they lay or leave behind their eggs before they run. If they're running away already, there's no reason hitting them, they will not lay eggs. So I approach him from the backside, I'm using the light bowgun for this. You can use any weapon you're comfortable with, the wacky sticks should work just as well and shoot him and then we were lucky there's a certain chance he will actually just drop a shiny where you get gargwa poo there's also a chance to get a golden egg i did actually not test if the golden eggs also count for this quest i was not lucky enough to get one if you got any of the other twos i'd advise going to area six and see if you have any gargwas there be just careful there could be large monsters that already spooked your gargwa if there's none, uh, you can wait a couple of minutes, usually two to five, and they actually should respawn, so not too much time lost. While transporting the egg, it is important to note that you can still use your wire box, especially to escape large monsters that might or might not have caught your attention. And um, as you can see, they can help you get out of a pinch. Now, it is important that you keep your wire box for this big jump, because no matter where you get your Gargoyle X, you will want to jump down here, it's a lot faster. And you can break your fall by using the wire box. I use two, otherwise the timing on the last one is relatively tight. If you fall down without using a wire box, you will sadly lose your egg and will have to do it all over again. I am at this point not entirely sure what's the fastest method to transport them, if jumping up with a wire bug or forward is faster, it seems depending on the terrain you can use either. And rolling as long as you have the stamina is also very good. For an armor set you can see here I did it with just my normal DPS armor, but if you actually are struggling with it I'd recommend getting Marathon Runner, Constitution and Stamina Search on your armor, it doesn't really matter how many points of each, just whatever parts you can afford, run with them and you really should have no issues whatsoever getting these two eggs. And all these scatter quests really should be a breeze. And yeah, that's about sums it up, have fun!